silence est un luxe rare. What up, 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 Thank you for tuning in to WFLNT Radio Channel 810.5 on your FM dial. I am your host, Mr. Slate, man. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. We are back with another episode. What are we on right now? We on episode six. Y'all could be anywhere else, but y'all checking me out, and I appreciate that. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the share button. We got some good news going on today, y'all. I wouldn't say good news. Interesting news. I wouldn't necessarily say good news. It's real bad news if you ask me, but it depends on who you ask. You know what I mean? Some people want this man out the way. Some people been on his neck for years, but we don't know. There's no factual evidence right now. You got people with accusations, civil lawsuits, trying to destruct the empire of bad boy right now. As we all know, Pete Diddy is going through a situation, homes getting raided, everybody throwing civil suits against him, claiming sexual abuse. But now, he has a big allegation that he's involved in sexual trafficking. So that's real big. It's blowing up the internet right now. But nobody knows. You can't say that he's innocent and you can't say that he's guilty because he's ha- he hasn't been charged with anything. But we're going to look into all that, man. I thank y'all for checking in with me, man. I really, really do. Hit the PayPal. Hit the Cash App. The information is right below your screen right here. You see it right there going across right there yep going right there you know what i mean so just tap in we appreciate everything um if you want to call in and leave a message uh we want to do some live shows but i need y'all to call in and leave some messages and let me know what's on your mind it could be a shout out it could be a suggestion it could be hey let's link up and do something together hey i want to get interviewed for this hey i'll make t-shirts can you put me on and you know, put it out there to the masses for me. Let's talk about it, man. Hit me up, Mr. Slate at gmail.com. That's Mr. Slate at gmail.com. Mr. Slate 810. Mr. Slate 810. Y'all see it right there, man. I goofed up, man. It happens sometimes. But uh, hit the hotline as well and leave a message. Um, that is 810-553-6592. 810-553-6592. Let's check it out, man. Let's see what's going on with Diddy, man. Right. Le silence est un luxe rare. Man, it's kind of chilly out here. Let me set everything up here. I got everything set all up, but you know what I'm saying. Let's start off with the news clip first. I'm going to share my screen, and uh, we're going to listen. We're going to look at For my listeners, we're going to listen to the clip, and for my viewers on YouTube, uh, we're going to watch the clip as well, and let's do it. I don't know, man. Do y'all feel bad for this cat? Do y'all think there's some foul play going on? Do you think he really... I mean, rumors been on him for years. You know, all kind of weird stuff, you know, with Usher and uh, what's the other little dude, singing dude? Uh, Come on, man. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The famous guy, man. Uh, Bieber. Justin Bieber, man. Yeah, man. Like, allegations with him. I heard his uh, stepfather said some cryptic things, you know what I mean? So let's get into it. What are we going to get into? All right, let's check this cat out. This is from News 11. This was posted yesterday, March 26, 2024. The link will be in the description. So this was posted last night, y'all. Let's check it out. Here's ABC's Kana Whitworth. Tonight, heavily armed federal authorities raiding two homes belonging to legendary rapper and entertainment mogul, Sean Diddy Combs. In order for authorities to raid a person's home, whether you're Sean Combs or anyone, they have to convince a judge that they have probable cause that there's evidence inside that location towards a specific crime. Agents from Homeland Security. And that's what I say as well, man. With you know, for my listeners out there, if you haven't seen the clip yet, uh, the link is in the description when you get home or when you get to wherever you're going. uh, Don't do it while you're driving, man. Don't do it while you're driving. We got enough damn accidents out there, especially here in Atlanta, man. But um. 
They got military type armored trucks to raid this man's house. You know what I mean? And uh, this is Homeland Security. This is not your local PD. This is not even the FBI. This is Homeland Security. And they simultaneously hit his house in L.A. and in Miami. So there's some serious stuff going on, man. Let's keep it going. Teagues and body armor seen entering his home in the wealthy L.A. enclave of Holby Hills. Drones flying overhead. And on the opposite coast, another raid at his mansion in Miami. Raiding multiple locations at the same time is a tactic that law enforcement uses to catch the target off guard. You want to make sure that they don't know the raids are happening and that anything you hope to find in those locations are not hidden or destroyed through the process of that raid. The Department of Homeland Security confirming to ABC News so that, that they executed. Said, so they they know they know what they're looking for. They know what they're looking for. Did they find it? We don't know. They know what they're looking for because they didn't just show up, you know, just to twiddle their thumbs and make threats and, you know, no. Nah, they were looking for something that they know for a fact through some type of source that exists in their house. When they show up, they show up knowing for sure what they looking for. When them feds show up, they, they you know the you know the the the, the fail rate uh, <laughs> that they got. Play with it. Let's go. Law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Law enforcement sources telling ABC News that this case is being handled out of the Southern District of New York and the investigation involves human trafficking. At the moment, Sean Combs is not facing any crimes. Even though we've seen these raids of Sean Combs' homes, both in Miami and LA, law enforcement has told us that there is no imminency towards someone being arrested. Now, that's crazy. Like, there's no warrant for his arrest or anything like that. But y'all raiding his house. Y'all raiding his houses, his property. Oh, man. And I'm quite sure that wasn't the only one. Those are probably just, I don't know, the mo or, or the ones that they got the, the drop on. Somebody said something or put something out there. Somebody in, in the camp or that knows something. You know, I ain't going to say names or whatever, but we all know who's accusing him of things right now. And like I said, I'm not on either side. He may be guilty. He may not. You know what I mean? I hope, you know, it's not true. But we've heard some pretty weird stuff over the years, man. But he hasn't been charged with anything so far. So let's keep let's keep listening. Keep watching. <laughs> The I'll Be Missing You singer is credited with helping bring hip hop to the mainstream. A close collaborator of Notorious B.I.G. writing, producing, and rapping in hit songs like Mo Money, Mo Problems. Oh. All right, man, that's about the end of that right there for that clip right there. That's um, NBC, ABC News uh, that was posted last night, 7.02 p.m., which is March 26th, y'all. Yeah, so. That's where we stand at right now. That was the latest update on that. Now, they have, um, I found out TMZ have a video actually right here of the carnage that Homeland Security inflicted on, uh, is it the Miami home? I think this is Miami home. This is Miami property. Um. Uh, but they tore stuff up. Uh, I'll describe it for for the listeners, but uh, for the viewers, man, we're going to go ahead and look at this, man. They did a number on my man crib, man. They turned this stuff upside down. That's why I say, did they find something? Did they find what they were looking for? Let's keep it going. Le silence est un luxe rare. All right, so this looked like this is like in a closet or an office or something, and it's stuff everywhere. There's drawers pulled out. There's papers all over the floor. They went through everything. They went through the cabinets, under the shelves. I mean, it's, 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 it's bear, teddy bears. Um, they got one teddy bear. I'm not going to say plural, but you can see all this kicks and everything. And they got the safe open. Uh, we got a lot of documents. It looked like jewelry and stuff in there. It doesn't look like, I don't know what that is. It's a car key of some sort. Um, 
They got luggage bust open, but it's just in shambles. There's stuff all over the place. It's just, it looked like somebody broke in the house. I'll put it like that. You know, I, if you ever had your house broken into and everything is just left open but just thrown everywhere, that's what it looked like. I'll leave a link in the description, but they went through everything. It even looked like they went through my man's shoes. Uh, got a lot of, you know, female clothing over there. So, so yeah, they got stuff everywhere. Boxes bust open. Yeah, they did a number on my man joint, man. They did a number on this joint, man. So, do we know if they found anything at this point? We don't know. I believe he did something. He pissed somebody off. In my opinion, he pissed somebody off some way, somehow, because the heat started coming down on him with the Cassie allegations. And then there were other law civil lawsuits uh, pressed on him. He tried to get Cassie out the way. He gave Cassie some paper. And I think he gave somebody else some paper to get it out the way. But it just kept coming. It kept coming up. It kept coming up. And that's how I do. That's how I go. You know, so... Um, Let's look on, man, and let's see what happened um, next. It's something I heard that he reportedly sold his revolt shares. So, I mean, <laughs> he know after this he's going to be forced out anyway. And I believe even if, even if he, if even if he's innocent, it's not going to be the same. He's, he's people not really going to want to touch you, man. You know what I mean? So he's doing right, in my opinion, to go ahead and just sell off what he can sell off and hope for the best. Because right now, like, yeah, man, it's not looking good. So, you know, Complex reported, this was uh, reported when, this was yesterday. This was reported yesterday that he sold off shares of, um, revolt, because, you know, he was one of the head honchos in revolt, one of the head honchos, not 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 the head honcho. So uh, Complex reported Diddy reportedly sells all of his revolt TV shares amidst, amid lawsuits and home raids. Uh, revolt launched in broadcast in October 2013 as a new voice for black culture and focused on hip hop coverage. One day after Homeland Security descended upon his residences lost in Los Angeles and Miami, Diddy has reportedly rec relinquished his Revolt TV shares. Alongside co-founder and entertainment mogul Andy Schoen, Revolt was launched on October 21, 2013, and over 10 years later, the multimedia business will remain black-owned. So whoever he got, he, he sold it off to, is going to remain black owned, but uh, it looks like him and uh, you know his part business partner they got up out of there. You know what I mean? Because if you think about it, with all these allegations and things going on, do you think if his name attached to that, that that would somehow reflect on to that uh, on to revolt? You know what I mean? So the best thing to do uh, is to step away from that as quickly as possible so you don't damage that brand. So I get that. I mean, you can look at it as a move of guilt, but I think it's just a smart business move to get away so he don't tarnish that revolt because really revolt, that's really all we got. BET, I don't, BET is not ours. Do your research on that. But let's carry on. Let's look. Um, he sold off his stuff, man, he, and they got out of, they got out of here. So uh, Diddy sold off his entire shares to an anonymous buyer who's opted not to have their identity revealed just yet. A formal introduction will reportedly be made in the coming weeks, just three months after Diddy stepped down as Revolt chairman. Apparently, the sale was intended to happen since Diddy's departure. Revolt CEO Dottavio Samuels and Chief Brand Officer Dion Graham will continue with the network under its new ownership. While there will be no charges, no changes within the staff and production employees. So that's a good thing, man. Y'all, I'm gonna put that uh, link in the description so y'all can check that out. But that's a good thing. There's not gonna be uh, any changes in structure over there. They're gonna keep everything the same. 
you know, Diddy's just and his business partner is just stepping out of the way because right now, man, anything attached to him is not going to be good. That brings us to the next story, man. They're saying that a former Syracuse basketball player was arrested and accused of being drug mule for P. Diddy, man. This is from uh, Yahoo Sports. This was actually posted today, y'all. This was posted literally even like an hour ago. Um, so there, it's it's stories out now that uh, he had a drug mule. Which, if you think of a drug mule, you're thinking, okay, he's you know got a bag and he's running across the border with kilos and this and that and this and that. It doesn't mean that in this industry. What it means is he's pretty much the guy that handles all the illegal paraphernalia. You know what I mean? If you know you, your crew want weed or your crew want pills or syrup or anything, that's the guy to go to, and he know where to find all that stuff for you. You know what I mean? He know how to find the girls. He know how to find anything illegal. He know how to find it and get you hooked up with it in that crew. As long as you got the paper to give him, he can go find it. So that's what a mule is within that industry. But let's read Yahoo you, Yahoo News. This was posted, posted an hour ago, so this is hot off the press. Le silence est un luxe rare. Hit the like button, subscribe. Hit the hotline, 810-553-6592. That's 810-553-6592. It's WFLNT Radio Channel 810.5 on your FM dial. I'm your host, Mr. Slate. Man, let's check into Yahoo Sports and see what they're taking, uh, talking about uh, his alleged, P. Diddy's alleged drug mule. So a former Syracuse basketball player was arrested on two felony charges at a Miami airport Monday. He is accused of working as rapper Sean P. Diddy Combs' alleged drug mule. His name is Brendan Paul, as he is listed on Syracuse's roster, was a walk-on guard for the program from 2018 to 2020. 25-year-old was booked for cocaine and controlled substances, su controlled substance possessions, possessions, and released Tuesday after posting a $2,500 bail per Miami-Dade County court records accessed by Yahoo Sports. So uh, he was picked up. He had, he had a little, he had a little sugar bugger on him, and uh, you know, they got him. He posted bail. And he got the hell on. So let's read on and let's see how they going to attach this cat uh, to P. Diddy. Is he just hanging around or is are they, is it he say, she say, do they got evidence that this man is truly that? Or are they just reaching and just throwing stuff out there right now? Uh, because it's reportedly somebody called in and said so. Because they'll do that. You know what I mean? It seems like they coming at this man. You know, when you see stuff like this, just like they did, uh, what's his name, Dave Chappelle, you know what I mean? When he walked away from the 50 million or 55 million, whatever it was, they 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 dragged his name, you know. They dragged his name in the mud. They did Martin Lawrence. Like, so you got to take all of this with a grain of salt, y'all, until we know for sure and we see some actual factual documentation of uh, these things going on, which, like I said, I'm not defending this man. I've heard a lot of weird things about him, uh, a lot of weird stuff for decades about this dude. So, I mean, I'm I'm honestly not even shocked, and I don't see why you would be. WFLNT Radio Channel 810.5 on your FM dial. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going here. All right, so the arrest came as federal agents raided Combs, Los Angeles, and Miami home Monday in the wake of of multiple recent lawsuits accusing the 54-year-old of sexual assault and sex trafficking. Homeland Security investigations implemented the raid without providing details regarding the case or any charges against Combs, the New York Times reported. So Paul name uh, reportedly appeared 11 times in a February lawsuit filed in a Manhattan federal district court by music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones. The producer claimed he was sexually assaulted by Pete Diddy during the process of working on multiple songs for the artist. The Love Album, Off the Grid, in, two, in 2022 and 2023. In the filing, Paul is described as Combs' mule. Photo of Paul and Combs together were reportedly submitted 
in the case to support claims that Paul acquired and distributed guns and drugs for the rapper. He is additionally accused of aiding and abetting Combs and his associates in the alleged sex trafficking by paying sex workers in cash. Paul's wo- Paul was accepted to Syracuse after attending Brewster Academy, a private boarding school in New Hampshire. He transferred to Hawken High School how can high school a private institution in Ohio before his senior year? So it don't sound like they really got, they just got pictures. It sounds like they, they got pictures of this man associating with him. Now for your name to come up in, in these cases 11 times, that's going to be a little hard. That's going to be a little hard. You know what I mean? So whoever this dude is, um, he, he's scheduled to appear in court in, uh, on April 24th. Well, let's see if he gonna run, make a run for it, or he gonna go ahead and face the music, and you know, is he gonna let out some hot news? Uh, what's gonna happen? We don't know. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's crazy, man. So did he finally responded to all this as well? He responded yesterday. Actually, he responded yesterday uh, after uh, Brandon Paul was arrested. Um, he breaks his silence and he's saying it's a gross overuse of military force. You know what I mean? He's claiming his innocence. He's saying this is not, this is, this is not needed. You know what I mean? Which I I agree. You know, if there's no warrant out for my arrest, man, like you can come in my home and say, Hey, you can show up at the door and say, Hey man, we got a warrant to search the premises. Everybody out of the house. Like, well, where did you think you was going? Like the El Chapo or something? Like where where did you, where did you think you was going? Like that's why I say something don't seem right, something don't feel right in my opinion. I don't know because it just seemed like you pissed somebody off and they just pulling out all guns, all stops on you, man. You know, so uh Sean Diddy Combs has this is from Yahoo News actually. Uh like I said, this was posted uh yesterday at six forty eight PM. So it was posted yesterday evening. So let's go ahead and read and see what's up. This is the latest um, on what's going on in the hole. So we're just going to skim over this and check things out, man. And uh, we're just going to wait on some more news. So let's get through this, man. Uh, WFLNT Radio Channel 810.5 on your FM dial. I'm your host, Mr. Slate. Thank you all for tuning in. Hit the like button. Hit the, the, the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know when we post. Hit that hotline. Hit that email. Let's do it. All right, so Sean Diddy Combs has broken his silence following raids on two of his homes, describing the actions of U.S. Homeland Security agents as a gross overuse of military force. Lawyers from the rapper and music mogul said there was no excuse for the hostility shown by authorities towards Combs, children, and staff members at the two properties. All right, so his kids were in there. I heard his kids were in there. I think they got a video of one of them. Uh, I think uh, Justin being led out of the driveway or some type of gate or something like that. But damn, man, that, that, I mean, like I said, that's a little that's a little hostile, yo. But he was out of there. Puffy was out of there. Do y'all think he knew? Did he get heads up? Did somebody warn him and say, "Hey, man, don't go to the house. You need to get out of here right now because they on the way." Because they said his plane was going up and down, I think, from Sacramento to L.A. or something like that, and then all of a sudden it went off to Miami, and then from Miami it went to the islands. Now, there's there's conflicting stories saying that he was stopped in Miami and couldn't board the plane, but the plane went over to the islands anyway or something like that, and when it got there he wasn't on it. Or he got on it, so we don't really, I haven't found anything factual on that yet, but there's no warrant for his arrest or anything, so I don't see, you know, I don't know. Y'all think he going to run out there with a, (laughs) with a whole uh, Russ? (laughs) You don't run out there with Russ old ass, man. But uh, let's check it out. But I heard he got, I think Russ got served with some papers, actually. If I ain't mistaken, y'all, we'll check that out. But I think he got served with some papers. You can run, but you can't hide, baby, man. Let's do it. Mr. Slate on the check-in on y'all, man. Let's go. So the raids occurred on Monday at the Hip Hop Stars Mansion 
in Humbly Hills area of Los Angeles, California, and his Miami Beach home on Star Island in Florida. A statement from Homeland Security said law enforcement actions had been executed as part of an ongoing investigation with, ins- with assistance from Homeland Security, Los Ange- HSI Los Angeles, and HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Uh, on Tuesday, Combs lawyer Aaron Dayer said yesterday there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Dare's statement was the first to be made publicly by the music mogul, mogul's team since the raid. Combs was not detained and spoke to authorities, and neither he nor any family member were arrested, nor has they, their travel been restricted, according to Dare's statement. Mr. Dare said unprecedented ambush has led to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless, meritless accusations made in civil, in, in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations, Dyer said. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. So, uh, man, man, they really be bringing it to him. But he, he, he sticking to his innocence, you know what I mean? He sticking to his innocence. I'm not really going to harp on the young fellas, man, because, uh, you know, you got all kind of allegations out on them that they they had a, a, a foot in this thing and, and was helping him out in certain ways. But, you know, that's a light subject, man. I don't play with people's kids. I don't like nobody to play with mine. Even though I don't look at them as kids, them, them, you know, they, they, they like in their mid twenties, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, they're grown men, but I'm gonna leave that situation alone, really, really, until something factual comes out. Uh, but psh, they got they, 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 they own him, and it, and it really does seem like a witch hunt to me. It seems like a witch hunt. It's a little excessive, in my opinion. I mean, I don't think they really did all that for your boy Epstein. You know, Epstein, he was uh, top rank. He was top rank. He was the head honcho, one of the head honchos in that thing. I wouldn't say like the head because I believe it goes way higher than that, way higher than that. So I don't know, man. Let me take a sip of water, y'all. I appreciate it. But uh, y'all hit the like button, subscribe. We're going to go ahead and end it right there. Anything new pop up, you know, I don't like to be the first to jump on things because I want the real stuff to come out. I was hearing all kind of weird stuff, which I knew when the homes got raided right afterwards, people were just putting out anything. You know what I mean? So I'm going to search around and get the real news for y'all, man. Y'all know what it is. WFLNT Radio Channel 810.5 on your FM dial. I'm your host, Mr. Slate. Thank you for tuning in. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the cash app, hit the PayPal. We appreciate everything you do out there, guys. Thank you. Le silence est un luxe rare.